Hello everybody, it's me Scooter, the Zalbound Back to Restaurant, and we got some wonderful, wonderful news. This is our second video we made today, and I just decided that we're just going to upload this one instead of the last one we made. Everything that we made in our blog, sometimes when you see videos like this, it's us making blogs that keep you up to date on what's going on with Zalbound Back to Restaurant. Everything... It's coming in today. Everything. Uh, we already went and picked up the battery, that the battery thing, the power cord that we're going to be running from our distribution block to the other amp, which is four of them. Our amplification block got sent out from Atlanta about 10 p.m. their time, and it finally it's it's in a UPS truck right now. So who knows what time that's going to get here? Um, our um, crunch amp is in a FedEx truck, so it'll be here whenever. And um, we got something else coming, but it'll be here. It's all everything that we ordered is coming, and it's going to be here today. Now on that bombshell, and we we uh, depending when it gets here, we're going to try to put some of it in the Tahoe we're gonna try to hook some of it up now if it don't get here on time before I have to leave to go to Autobahn which I gotta leave around free something then we will put it on the Tahoe and Monday when we get off work we'll come home and we'll do it all and then we'll show you what we did to hook it all up now the only thing we're missing is some of those little things that you hook onto the wires the plug inside the box we gotta go to Walmart and probably get those. And we gotta get speaker wire. And um and those are the two things I definitely know that we need. Now, once we get those all that stuff hooked up, I'm gonna show you how we did it. Like what we did to hook it all up so that you'll know. But um yeah, we're just gonna hook up the new distribution. And this, like I said, this one has five plug outs running out. But we're not going to have five amps, but I'd rather have another one just in case. I probably should have just said screw it and bought that five-block distribution to begin with. I apologize. My hands are dirty. I haven't. i got to take a bath. This is what happens when you do manual labor. Your hands get dirty, especially when you work at a truck stop. But, um, yeah. Um, so we're going to run all four of them in. And then, like I said, it's going to be very loud in the Tahoe. And um, after we do that, we're going to concentrate. And we got our newest wrestler. He's on the way. I don't know when he's going to be here. But y'all all know this guy or this person. And um, I feel like when he when you see who it is, you are going to die. This We've been trying to talk to this person to doing this. And they finally agreed to come and participate in Alabama Backyard Wrestling. And when you see who it is, you're, you're, you're just going to die. I can't believe we got him to come. I can't wait. But, yeah, we do have a newest wrestler. And I cannot wait until he gets here and we can put him in his first match. Because we told him what he can expect when he comes here. You know, and he agreed. So, who knows? Maybe this person might show up on time for our next pay-per-view. Our next pay-per-view is Tuesday, the Ho 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 pay-per-view. And I'm hoping that maybe he'll get here for this one. If he don't, then our third pay-per-view, third pay-per-view of this month, we could probably use this person in that one. Because it's a Christmas theme. All our pay-per-views are Christmas themed for this month. And, uh, the one GG is ho, ho, ho. So, we haven't thought of a third one yet. Wait, it just hit me. Our third pay-per-view will be called Silent Night. And, um, so that will be the name of our third pay-per-view. And when we will do it, will probably be that following Tuesday. And we're hoping our new wrestler will be here. And 
hopefully Triple X will be in a better mood because he was upset because he had to defend his belt against Jesus Christ and the sloth, and he did. And he was upset that he wasn't a two belt champion because he wasn't able to win. But y'all saw what happened. He had too many of them, and one slipped off and fell and hit the ground. A win's a win. No matter if it's an inch or a mile or if it's one point or four points, a win is a win. Now, <clears throat> like I said, we've been making a lot of videos. We're trying to do a lot of more. But like I said, we're trying to get more stuff animals in here. And I'm talking to a lot. We're trying to get them in here. So this new stuff animal that we got coming, we hope that you're going to enjoy watching him compete. And you're probably going to die when you see who it is. And that's what we want. And we hope that more people will tune in and start watching our show as we get more and more uh, crazy characters in here. You're probably wishing we had real people, but here's the thing what happens when you get real people. There's a lot of schedules that you have to work around. Now, with real people, you have to deal with their schedule. With the stuffed animals, they don't have schedules. So the only schedule we really have to work around is mine. And that's why I'd rather just deal with stuffed animals than with real people. But everybody wants to see real people wrestle. But that's the thing. It's hard to work around real people's schedules. You know? So that's why we use stuffed animals because they don't have schedules. They don't have a life. They don't have nothing to do. But that's why we prefer stuffed animals. They're easier to work with. They don't give you bull crap. And most of all, you don't have to pay them. Because uh, I can't afford to pay real people. Because we don't make no money. Any money off this. Pretty much we do it for our own enjoyment. And to keep us out of trouble. That's pretty much why we do this. But everybody on that bombshell. That's pretty much all we have for today. Um, hopefully everything will get in on a decent time. But, you know, FedEx and UPS are both extremely covered up because everybody is more than likely doing all their shopping online so that they don't have to get near other people and take a chance of getting this coronavirus, which all I think is it is is nothing but a, a high power flu. And I'm going to be nice and let all y'all get y'all's vaccine shots so that y'all can all go walking around suffering the side effects from taking this because... I'm not going to take it. I'll just keep uh, eating my vitamin C gummies. Gummies. Mm. That's good for your immune system and all that. So just go to the Walmart. Get you some vitamin C gummies. Eat you maybe one a day and you'll be fine. Um, but on that bombshell, everybody, good night. Stay safe. Until our next video, have a nice day.